It's a terrifying disease that brings a death sentence with it. But for the first time, we are now a step closer to understanding motor neurone disease. Australian scientists have helped discover a potential cause. Zoe Ford reports. When Paul Brock was diagnosed with motor neurone disease, he was given between three and five years to live. That was 17 years ago. Young student said, so how long do you reckon you got to live? I said, I don't know. I said, how long have you got to live? He's well aware the disease will one day kill him. Physically, it's already robbed him and his family of so much. Mentally, though, he won't give up. Still quoting Shakespeare. He that has no little tiny wit, the hey-ho, the wind and the rain, must make content with his fortunes fit, though the rain it raineth every day. Meaning? In other words, all you can do when you're hit with catastrophe is just do this. Researchers at the University of Technology, Sydney, are doing their best to shed light on the disease. They've discovered how exposure to blue-green algae can actually lead to motor neurone disease. And that opens up the, the, the pathway for us designing therapies, potential um, prophylactics and hopefully making a dent in this awful disease. As excited as researchers are about this breakthrough, they're also quick to put it into perspective. The reality of motor neurone disease is that in 90% of cases, there's still no way of determining a cause. This is a small piece of the puzzle, but a very important piece. The next piece may be a long way off. Researchers are low on funds. But Paul Brock hopes this development will encourage more medical investment. Mazoe Ford, 10 Eyewitness News.